Welcome to AwesomeDrinks.com. I am the owner, Derek Schomer, and today we're going to look at the Modern Mixologist hand-blown mixing glass slash beaker. It looks like a beaker, right? It looks like something you get from a chemistry lab without the, the little measurement thingies on there. Uh, and, and you don't really necessarily need measurement thingies on this one. You can tell it's hand-blown. It has no no seams or anything through it, and it's, it's fairly heavy-duty. You can see the thickness there. So the question is, why would you spend the money on a mixing glass over, say, a pint glass. Good example. You're making a cocktail, and from if you've ever watched our show, Common Man Cocktails, you see us do this a lot. If I have a hand-mixed cocktail, shaken, not stirred. No, stirred, not shaken, right? So instead of taking this and shaking it this way, I can just put that off to the side. Typically, you stir in this side and you are able to create your cocktail right here, your gin and tonics, your, um, you know, if you're chilling up some gin, if you're making, a, you know, a very classy cocktail, maybe it's going in a coupe glass or maybe in a nine and a quarter ounce twisted martini glass, that's marketing, folks. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're, you're gonna end up stirring it in here, but a couple problems. You're making two or three of these because you have guests over. This, with ice, is going to become a severe issue as the liquid fills up. So this is gonna get you 16 ounces without ice. That's one option. The other option is you can use this side, right? So that's gonna get you a little more, maybe 26. But the problem is you can't see the drink. And a lot of people, when they're making cocktails, they wanna see the drink, especially if it's one where you have to pour dashes for color. You know, a, a, a Cadillac, uh, mar a pink Cadillac margarita, for instance, which has that pink, you're adding uh, a little cranberry juice to it to get the color right. If you do it in something like this, of course, that's your shake and drink, but if you do it in something like this, you're able to stir to get to those colors. Plus, it's fancy, and it has the pour spout, um, and it's 20.5 ounces, so you're going to get more out of that than you will out of this. Will this suffice for a person making a cocktail for themselves? Of course. If that's the way you want to roll, that's the way you want to roll. Nothing wrong with that. But I like to buy products because they get excited about them. So having a store and having excitement over the products for myself, this is mine, uh, my first idea was I want one of these and I'll sell the rest in the store. Because if I want them, I think other people are going to want them because it just steps up my game. When I'm making cocktails with this, I, it's, it's a mood thing. I feel cooler, I feel more professional using this to mix and this to shake. I've got my boss and shaker for the cool factor and I've got this for my stirring cool factor. Um, otherwise, what you're gonna do is you're gonna you know, do the same thing you do in this case. Typically use a julep strainer for this because it just it, the springs don't always fit in, but you'll see bartenders jamming their springs this way. Now this is just a, a, uh, a spring-loaded one that I, I own myself, not one we sell. However, if you're looking for more of a strainer that would fit on here, the strainers we sell in our store, the non-OXO brand, fit really well on top of this, like amazingly well. And this gives you the ability to still pour your cocktail in a fine manner, either over ice, over crushed ice, or straight into a chilled martini glass, and not have the ice pour out or any of the contents pour out, and not jam up your springs on, on any other specific strainers you may have in the house. So having a smaller strainer becomes a little more useful and fun with this. You may also, if you're getting crazy, you can do something like this and stir that way and, and strain that way rather. I've seen that done. I've actually done it myself when I forgot my strainers. So there you go. Just a little bit on the modern mixologist hand-blown mixing beaker or glass. We call it a mixing glass. Looks like that. It's a good quality. It's not gonna break. So go buy yourself one. That's it. We're done. Cheers.